to around upon Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Today is the 8th of September at 2023. So guys, some triple C councillors in Bulawayo are reportedly plotting to defy party leader Nelson Chamisa's directive to vote for David Cotard and Misan Kobo for the city mayor and deputy mayor position respectively. In the run-up to the 2023 harmonized elections, Chamisa purposely endorsed Cotard as the party's mayor candidate in Bulawayo. Cotard is a lawyer and former minister of education, while Nkomo is a civil rights campaigner. The election for the city's mayor was initially scheduled to be conducted after the swearing in ceremony on Wednesday. However, the election was postponed to Monday after the Ministry of Local Government ordered all councillors to attend an induction meeting in Gweru on Thursday and Friday. Said reported that some senior Triple C officials in Blayo summoned the councillors on Wednesday morning before their swearing in ceremony and instructed them to choose their preferred candidates. A councillor who spoke to Side on condition of anonymity claimed that the Triple C officials are against the election of court at Nkomo because the two will not give in to their demands, said the councillor. The challenge is that there are people who want to go against what the party planned. There are external people with huge amounts of money. Ulterior motives of corruption who are trying to push for their candidates to be elected on Monday. They don't want court at Nkomo because they know they will not bend to their demands. There are reports that some councillors have already been given money by these people. We also have it in good authority that they are hoping if Mabuto is the one to be elected as deputy mayor, then they can ride on that to push for their candidates again to chair strategy council meetings to push their agenda. It's a pity because if they fell into this trap, they will be recalled. That is the party position. Tupus National Spokesperson Promise Mkwanazi told uh, said that the councillors have been instructed to vote for court as a party. We work with clear guidelines. Blair has been advised accordingly on who will be mayor, and that is David Cotter. He was even endorsed at a rally in the city. As the deputy mayor, the councillors they have been told who has been chosen by the party. Another rumor will not be entertained, and the party members are expected to act according to the guidelines of the party. Triple C won all the local authority seats in Blayo as well as the parliamentary seats in the province in the 2023 harmonized elections. So, guys, that's the latest here. And you can say, corruption is because I'm not It will triple C, but when you are corrupt, some of the councillors are corrupt. And you can say, you know, you can't get the At the same time, a businessman, businesswoman, you know, they're attenders, they're business opportunities they have to be familiar with some of the top guys and what comes solo solo my counselors yeah and i mean there's that much you can do about it if it's going to be the opposite it was going to be the same outcome yes yeah, some people with money pushing for their own uh people they know could have a on mr ten thousand my account market i don't go for my everything i don't go to and some of the businesses i think it's one in the city uh People behind those businesses are uh, politicians, are uh, businessmen, wanting to shut this big door to gain some of the land, some of the tenders, some of the projects that get to come city. It's because they benefit from that. No matter how long I struggle with it, and if I say, I mean, hands in boots, you know, you can't pass on here. And so, guys, this is a weekly news roundup on Prince Minute Entertainment TV. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. We expect uh, these councillors to act and uh, against corruption. We expect them to, um, you know, work for us as this citizens, as people of Zimbabwe, regardless of political affiliation. And uh, yeah, it's high time that they need to uh, work on service deliveries. Uh, because there's no why to go out for China in the first place to be councillors. Like, uh, hey, some people they really don't understand that. They think to, to be a councillor or MP is an opportunity. Uh, they are a civil servant. You are supposed to be working for us as the people of the community. So we hope that they will improve service deliveries. We hope that they will work towards their mandate as councillors. Weekly news roundup, please. Sir.